Jackson students and Ms. Perpetua Aquero, and today I'll be teaching from three students social studies. And today we're going to learn about culture. We're going to learn about our culture. Culture. Now, what is culture? Culture is a total way of life of our people. Culture is a total way of life of our people. Now, the way people live their life, what they do, how they do it, is called their what? It's called their culture. I repeat. Culture is a total way of life of the people. Now we have some elements of culture, some things that mix up your culture. They are called elements of culture. Those things that mix up your culture. And number one is what? Dressing. My one is dressing. Now culture says it's a total way of life. Now people in some certain cultures, they have different way they dress. That's the first thing I identify about culture. Now, when you see an Igbo man dressed, ah, that man is dressing in an Igbo attire. That man is called what? An Igbo man because he's dressed in what? An Igbo attire. So you see, dressing is one of the elements of culture. And number two, language. Number two, language. Language. Now, the way people speak help identify their culture. Different cultures, different ethnic groups, they have their different languages. Like in Nigeria, we have the Igbo, we have the Alsa, we have the Yoruba, the three major ethnic groups. Now, those are their culture and they speak their various words, their various languages. Now, you have the material as values. Values. Now, different culture and different ethnic groups have their values, those things they believe in. Okay, that's called value. Now, number four, we have food. Food. Now, different cultures in Nigeria have different food they eat. They have the cultural food. Like the Aosas, they eat so the Yorubas, they eat a wedu. The Igbos, they eat abacha, apu. Okay, now you see different culture have their different way of dressing, different languages they speak, different values they believe in, and different foods they want, they eat. Now, the fifth one is religion. Now, most culture, they have their spe uh, specific religion. Some will I worship idols, some are Christians, some are Muslim. Okay? And the next one is mood of greeting. Mode of greeting. Now different culture have their various ways and modes of greeting also. They don't greet the same. Like in the Robo, they greet Mingo. In the Igbo, they greet like Igbos, they greet Keju. Yorubas, they greet Ikaro. So you see, different cultures have their different modes of what of greeting. And the next one needs. Different culture have their different names also, different ethnic groups, they have their different names, traditional names. And the last one is festivals and ceremonies. Now different cultures have different festivals they celebrate. Like the Igbos and they celebrate the New Year festival every year. You see? So that's that about culture. Now I'll repeat, culture is a total way of life of our people. And we have different elements of culture which includes the dressing, the languages, the values, food, religion, mode of greeting, names, festivals and what ceremonies. So I would like you to really go and ask your parents what, how they dress in your culture, the language they speak, the values they have in your culture, the food they eat, the religion, the mode of dressing, the names and the festival. That's your personal assignment. Ask your mommy, mommy, which culture am I from? How do we greet in my culture? What's my cultural name? Okay, that's your assignment for today. Now, next class, I'll ask you before I go further. Now, I believe you have your writing material with you. Now, take that note and make sure you study it and revise it on your own free time. Thank you.